Well, this is it. Count them. Just eight more mystery CD grab bags left, and then bargain bag is all done. I'm going to miss it, but then again, I'm not. put all these bags back in after I did the cold open stunt. Greetings one and all and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. It is time for Bargain Bag. Yes, I'm going to try, as I said, the rest of this year, the rest of Bargain Bag's life, supposedly, I'm going to try and keep um, Bargain Bag at the beginning of the month so that when list season comes in December, I don't have to mess around with Bargain Bag. I've had plenty of time to, you know, let it soak in and all that other stuff. Uh, so yeah, here's to you know here's to me keeping my timetable, so to speak. Anyway, yes, today we're doing my bargain bag video for the month of May. Can't believe it's May 2023 already. Yes, bargain bag is my hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of a mystery CD grab bag assembled from the bargain wall at Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene. Eight titles in here. Who knows what's in here until I open the bag. I kind of sort of know. If I had an eidetic memory, I would definitely know what's in the bags, but uh, I, I bought them. I've, you, I've told the story before, but uh, in some in quick summary, I bought the CDs when they were four for a dollar. I bought a bunch, enough for two years of bargain bag, stuffed bags, uh, you know, all in one day, so I don't really remember what's in here. I do know that in one of the bags that I still have yet to open, <clears throat> I have the Schindler's List soundtrack and Play by Moby. So we'll see if either or both, I, I don't think both, I think they're in, those two are in different bags, uh, might be in today's bag, so we'll see. Anyway, but before I open the new bag, I'm going to talk about what was in the old bag. <clears throat> no, leave my mother out of this. No, anyway, <laughs> sorry, that was a bad joke. Uh, in last month's bag, let me let me put it that way, as I hope I don't lose my voice, I my voice was fine until I started turning on the camera, and now I'm starting to get scratchy. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's knock wood that my voice will hold through this video. Anyway, in rough order from cast-offs to keepers, let's break down what was in last month's bag. First off, Martin Zeller. Uh, this guy is a country blues artist. Um, he's decent enough, except... He has kind of a gravelly, uh, low-down tone to his voice that it kind of sounds forced to me. Something about it, when I listen to it, it sounds forced. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I'd never heard of this guy until I put the CD on, but uh, it's just one of those things. It just sounds forced. I don't know. Uh, forgive me if I'm being unfair to Mr. Zeller. Anyway, uh, here we have another country one. For some reason, this month, the country CDs were kind of... Uh, just didn't uh, didn't uh, float my boat. Uh, Kathy Matea, a collection of hits. Um, yeah, actually, actually, I might listen to this one again. Maybe I don't know, but uh, yeah, if I from what I remember of my last listen to it, yeah, decent enough artist. Uh, we we've all heard of her. I'm sure you've heard of Kathy Matea. Uh, she's been a, a fairly prominent country artist, not like Reba McIntyre or anything like that, but uh, she's had a decent, a long, decent career. Uh, decent artist. It's just, yeah, the songs didn't quite do it for me. Then we have uh, this one. I'm kind of sorry didn't leave more of an impression on me. It's a new age acoustic group called Acoustic Alchemy. Uh, they're actually a duo. You can see right here. Uh, I have one other CD of theirs uh, that my was in my sister's collection, I think, and uh, that's pretty good. Uh, this one, I don't know, I just didn't... Uh, and This one might be one that I re-listened to. Uh, I might just not have been in the mood, the right mood, when it was playing. So, who knows? You know, I, I'm not in a huge hurry to get rid of the CD, the cast-off CDs. So, if the whim strikes me, I will listen to the, the, to the On the Bubble ones again. Also on the bubble was... Uh, oh, the case is ugly. This case is dirty, dirty. Anyway... Uh, the Subdudes. Uh, this is a live album, obviously, and I had heard of The Subdudes before, or The Subdudes. 
Maybe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Anyway, in my head, it's always the subdudes, but it's probably the, the subdudes. Anyway, um, country rock kind of thing, you know, um, uh, Americana, I guess you'd say. Uh, very talented, uh, interesting group, uh, and they have some interesting songs. Uh, some pretty good, uh, a pretty good sense of humor in a lot of their songs. Uh, so I will probably check this one out again, or at least keep it for now. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Let me see here. Uh, not, no really catchy song titles that I could think of. Uh, one of them is called Sugar Pie. That's about as weird as the song title gets. Song titles get on that album. Anyway, uh, this other guy, I've got um, a best of CD by him, and I used to have this CD. Uh, I like the, the his best of enough that I decided to go ahead and throw this one into a bargain bag. Uh, Mark Cohn, he is a singer songwriter, uh, pop rock singer songwriter. Uh, very good stuff. Uh, he's got a good voice, an interesting voice on him. So I'm probably going to keep this one, uh, yeah, and, and, and maybe check out his uh, subsequent studio albums. And then this next one. Hmm, Kind of took me took me by surprise. I, I think it's going to be a keeper. Uh, this guy was a the winner of I believe the first season of Britain's Got Talent, Paul Potts, and this is a popra you know an, a pop opera crossover album, which is normally not my thing. I I had a brief popra phase, oh last year early this year, and it kind of wore out on me quite a bit. I I might have just uh, uh, overdosed on it or something. But uh, this this album is pretty good. Um, it actually he actually does a an Italian uh, kind of semi operatic uh, rendition of Everybody Hurts by REM, which is really interesting an uh, interesting take on it. And uh, My Way, the Frank Sinatra song. And what else is on here? Uh, not much else. Oh, uh, Nessun Dorma, which is the song that he uh, I think the song that he won or that he aud auditioned with on Britain's Got Talent. And of course, a couple of other uh, um, opera arias and, and that kind of thing. Music of the Night, the uh, song from Phantom, Phantom of the Opera is also on here. So uh, an inter a good album. I like it. Uh, not, not sure what it is about Paul Potts, but uh, of course that REM cover kind of uh, uh, sealed the deal on me, deciding to keep the CD again for now. And this next one, uh, this guy was uh, in last month's bargain bag. He, uh, a CD of his was in the previous bag. Jesse Cook, he is a Canadian um, Latin guitarist, an instrumentalist. And this is, I believe, this is his sophomore album, Gravity. His first album, which I can't remember the name of, was in last month's bargain bag. Or I, I might have the order of his album's releases reversed. I don't know, but anyway. And I actually liked both of these enough that I picked up at uh, oh at Saint Vinny's on my Saint, Vin Saint Vinny's crawl last week. Uh, the, his third album was in one of the stores, so I picked it up. So, yeah. and oh, and I realized that another one of his later CDs was actually in my sister's collection, the Rumba Foundation, which was a and and I ended up keeping that one. So that's must be why I, I subliminally am attached to Jesse Cook was. I had forgotten that one of his later CDs was in my sister's collection. So, yeah, I've got a little Jesse Cook library stacking up here. But the winner of this uh, past month took me completely by surprise. Uh, and I just I just can't say enough good things about this. Uh, the Rinken Band. Uh, this is a Japanese band. And, so, and as you can kind of tell by their clothing, but that comes with a twist, which I'll explain in just a minute. But... Uh, yeah, everything, you know, all the song titles are, are all in Japanese. Oh, excuse me, not Japanese. They're an Okinawan band. They're from Okinawa. I looked them up on Wikipedia. And so, yeah, as you can tell from the, they are a traditionally Eastern, um, well, I'll explain. I'm getting ahead of myself. The, uh, yeah, the CD is from Japan. So the, the text is in Japanese, but the band is Okinawan. But yeah, as you can see, all of the song titles are in Japanese the entire booklet is in J Japanese, uh, barely a word of English. And uh, yeah, as you can see on here, it's pretty much, all, except for the copyright indicia, it's all in Japanese. Um, but they inject some Western influences in on this. Um, kind of like the, the 
I don't know, jangly. There's not really any jangly guitars, but kind of the, the uplifting, jangly, for lack of a better word, pop rock from the early 90s. This album was from 1993. That is present in a couple of the other world music-influenced bands that I've come to like recently. Poi Dog Pondering, which is uh, most or all of their members are Hawaiian. And Rusted Root, a couple of bands that I've come to enjoy over the last couple of years. I hear the same kind of the um, you know Western early '90s pop rock stuff in the Rin Ken band that I hear in those other two bands, and so I really enjoy this. Uh, the, the first track, which again you know, the the name's in Japanese, so I don't know what the, the name of the track is. Uh, it had an interesting time signature to it, and that just caught my ear right away, and I was just sucked in for the entire rest of the album. I love this album, and. Uh, <clears throat> I realized while I was listening to this, actually, um, yeah, I didn't waste any time. I looked up online on Discogs, and Music Millennium up in Portland is selling the preceding album, the album that precedes this, uh, on Discogs, uh, brand new and sealed for 20 bucks. So I, so I bought it. I had to buy it. I love this album so much. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. It's just It just really took me by surprise. Uh, there are going to have to be some really good albums in here for this not to top my bargain bag finds of the year list at the end of this year. It is that good. Uh, yeah, if you uh, if they're on Spotify, I'm not sure if they are, or whatever your music streaming service of choice is, I would check out the Rin Can Band. And this album is called Banji, as you can see here on the uh, spine here. Banji is the name of the album. So uh, yeah, give it a tr give it a listen. I would recommend, it, especially if you kind of like the world music or at least world music influenced. I guess that's the word. Uh, artists. Yeah, I would definitely try that. Excuse me, I gotta get a drink of tea. <clears throat> Not sure what is up with my scratchy throat this morning, but anyway. So yes, a, an excellent uh, batch of, well, a good batch of CDs, but with an excellent number one CD for the month. So let's go ahead and pop into this bag here. Pretty sure I got uh, that clip the right side. Yes, I did. And let's go ahead and take it off the top here. Actually, let's take a lot off the top. I don't. Anyway. Okay. Mm. Here we have there we go. the tape is interfering with the. Uh... Let's see. Trying to make sure these are oriented the right way so I can easily show them to the camera. Let's see what number one is. Oh, Smash Mouth. <laughs> Astro Lounge. I already have this. Uh, I, I think I bought this, you know, I bought my copy, so to speak, uh, after I had uh, assembled these bags. Obviously, I'd forgotten that this was in the bag. So, yay, Smash Mouth. And, of course, this has, uh, oh, this has All Star on it. So it is, it is their big hit album. Uh, then the Morning Comes is another really good one. And can't get enough of you, baby. So, yeah. I don't know. They're a not so guilty pleasure of mine. They're 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 fun to listen to. What can I say? And then we have. Oh, a Jewish Odyssey. This is a Putomayo uh, album. I'm always up to uh, checking out uh, you know ethnic music and that kind of thing. So yeah. And yeah, this uh, is. Uh, uh, Jewish influenced bands from all over the world. We got some from Brazil, Canada, Chile, Turkey, the USA, of course, Israel, obviously, uh, Morocco, Italy, the UK. So that will be very interesting to listen to. I'm looking forward to that one. I'm not Jewish, but always up to listening to, you know, different ethnic types of music. And here we have. Woman with Eyes Closed. I don't know who this is. Um, it's tough to listen to. Oh, Audra McDonald. How Glory Goes. Oh, I hope this isn't a religious CD. Uh, no, I don't think so. 
I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, this has a couple of, uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Great American Songbook songs in here. Any Place I Hang My Head is Home. And uh, The Man That Got Away. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to hear. I know I've heard of Audra McDonald before. Not sure where, but we'll see how she sounds. Then we have Silver Nighttime Calls. That's the name of the album. I have no idea who these this pair of people is, are. Yay, grammar. Anyway, uh, it looks like dance pop, you know, EDM type of stuff, just from the look of the cover. So, yeah, this could be an interesting bag to listen to. And then we have, oh, the music. See, that's what it's called, the music. And yeah, I don't know what else, what to say about this one, because they are, uh, I am unfamiliar <clears throat> with them. Oh, but it has a, uh, it used to be in the bargain section of uh, Skips. So there's a Skips sticker on there. So that was uh, number five. Here's number six. We have, oh, Neil Diamond, Home Before Dark. One of his later albums, I believe. Yeah, 2008. Produced by Rick Rubin. I did not realize he'd produced a Neil Diamond album. So that'll be interesting to listen to. Oh, and the bag lost its uh, tail. Anyway. One, three, four, five, six. So two more CDs to reveal in this bag. Oh, the Spin Doctors. Pocket Full of Kryptonite. Uh, their most successful album, I believe. And uh, I honestly... I couldn't identify any of their singles, if I'd heard them on the radio. Just, uh... And yeah, well, it's interesting to hear that one. And the final CD in this bag. Oh, cool! 100% Fun by Matthew Sweet. I was... I... This is another one kind of like... What was the other one last... Oh, um... Liz Wright, uh, from a few months ago. I almost bought a CD of hers from the store, and then soon after it showed up in Bargain Bag. And when I was on my St. Vinny's crawl last week, I was this close from picking up the CD a couple of times when I saw it. And I decided not to. And I guess this is the reason why. I guess maybe subliminally, sub subconsciously, I remember packing this one into a uh, Bargain Bag. So, well, this will be an interesting month to listen to. Uh, several well-known artists in here. Half of them are well known. Well, I'm not going to bother listening to the Smash Mouth CD because I already own it. So, uh, but yeah. So, yes, another interesting month of Bargain Bag. Uh, it's on months like these that I'm kind of sorry that it's coming to an end, but, you know, as I've mentioned, I, <laughs> and thanks to my St. Vinny's crawl, I have gotten way behind in my CD listening backlog, so it'll be nice to not have these extra eight CDs every month to listen to so I can devote more time to the, the ones I spent more money on. So anyway, uh, but yes, that'll do it for Bargain Bag for the month of May 2023. I hope you enjoy this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends and give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below. Also scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.